That's still not right. Anyway, hello everyone. Welcome to Inspiration today on this fine Tuesday. Hello. I wonder if I should wave this way or this way. Because if, if I wave this way, it's like a waving at the paper. But if I wave this way, it's like saying hello to you, but it looks weird. Either way, hello. Thank you for joining. Let's, uh, let's take a look at what we're going to be inspired by today. You know what's really weird? I make really weird faces when I do this. So, hmm. It's kind of embarrassing. Anyway, yes, it is Corn Poppy. Me favorite red ink. This is Mont Blanc Corn Poppy Red. It was released several years ago and there was some fear that it was going to be um, like one of the special edition where you only get it for a little bit of time and then it goes away, but it's in their regular bottle and it's still here. So if you haven't tried this ink, you must because it is my favorite red. Okay, I'm trying to pop it out of there. Comes in this like crazy thing. Uh, you call it, oh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to read that <laughs> out loud. <laughs> um, it comes with also this like paper thingy that tells you you should use Mont Blanc ink in your pens. And um, I just won't, I won't bother with that because we are not using a Mont Blanc pen right here. We are using my trusty Pilot Parallel, the six millimeter. I peeled off the sticker. And we're going to use the Midori MD Notebook B6 Slim Gridded, which you've seen before, but I love. It's going to be a really fun notebook when it's all full, don't you think? Does anybody else like this sound? Like the crank? Listen, listen, let's just do this for a second. Okay, it's like paper ASMR, right? I'm not the only one who likes it? Okay. Um, these bottles, if you are unfamiliar with them, are pretty awesome because they do come in a large box and typically I don't keep my boxes and stuff, but I do for these so I can stack them. But it has this little inkwell spot that you can, like when you're getting low on ink, you just tip it forward, fill this up, and then you can refill your pen, you know, stuff. Anyway, I've already inked it. So, um, I'm going to put this here and... I have my coloring swatch card, but I didn't swatch it, swab it, swap, whatever. I wrote on it because, I don't know, I just thought it would look nice. So this is that, and I'm gonna put that there and we can look at it shortly. So, let's go. We are using the, I'm only writing this because sometimes people come in late and they don't know which notebook I'm using, but I know you all know which notebook I'm using, B6 Slim. The Pilot Parallel, as you know, is one of my favorite pens because they are amazing. This is the 6.0 millimeter. And we are going to be using Mont Blanc Corn Poppy Red. Okay. Hello! Latecomers, thank you for joining. It's not actually that late. It's only been like three minutes, so. Um, what are your favorite red inks? Because I always wonder, for me, it's hard to find a really good red ink because sometimes they're kind of on the pink side or the orange side or they're like washed out. And I like a saturated, vibrant, rich red, which this ink is, which is pretty awesome. Um, obviously, because the last couple weeks have been lacking in this, I'm going to write, do you want to take a guess? You don't. I'm going to write, hello. Uh, oh, that was a really, the problem with writing hello is that if your L's are not like on point and completely consistent, then it looks really stupid, which it does, but I don't care because we are here for the ink, not my writing. Napa Burgundy. Ooh, I haven't used that one yet. Diamond Red Dragon is also a very good one. I'm also a big fan of the 150th Carnival. Kind of like a... It's almost like it has a bit of burgundy to the Carnival. 
Visconti Red, I don't think I have used actually. Um, I had um, like little cartridges of it once and I saved them for too long and they dried out. It was really sad. I probably could have rehydrated them, like taking it from a raisin to a grape, but I didn't. It was very sad. Hello. Uh, really well behaved ink. This paper is very fountain print friendly, but there's no feathering, um, no bleed through. It's just a really, it's a good ink. Like I really enjoy this. Oh, the jello is coming. Don't you worry. Let's gonna do jet. Let's gonna do. Let's let's. I'm gonna. I'm gonna write jello now. I don't know what I'm saying. My my words. I'm not really sure they're English. That looks like a T and a J. I don't know why I did that. Hello. Hello, Jello. I don't know why I write it, but I like it. That's pretty gorgeous. Nice shading. Um, let me see if I can, what else can I write? I'll write Poppy. Oh, this is gonna be brutal with three Ps. Okay, let's see if I can do this without making it look horrid. Usually I use the Maruman notebook for, um, for oh, I'm gonna have to do something creative here. Uh, for when I use this pen because it's so huge that I fill up the page with like three words as you can see oh is this gonna fit well let's see if not it's gonna be corn pop or hello jello pop oh uh, wow well. corn popsy bye Chris thanks for joining say hi to Misha for me give her a smooch Misha's the cat it's very pretty, isn't it? It's a very, uh, like a really true red. I don't find this washed out and dilute or anything. Like, I think it's a really nice red. Okay, I'm gonna see how close this can focus. I don't know. But, um, wait, I'm trying to show you a bit of sheen, which is right on the saturated bits. There's a little bit of sheen there. Pretty nice. Honestly, one of my favorite red inks. Now, um, it is 60 mils of ink and it is for this bottle. It is 23.50 US. You can also get cartridges in the little, like the little box thing and those are 6.50, but I don't really use cartridges so I prefer the bottles. Now it's not inexpensive ink, but um, I use this pretty frequently and I've had it for several months, several months, no longer than that, like nine months. And I still have quite a bit in here, so. I know, I know, I'm very dangerous. And the issue is that like, there are very few inks that I really don't like. So um, I'm always like, oh my God, this is the most beautiful ink. Because it is, but this really is beautiful. These don't match, the red and the blue. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, it's still drying, but I'm gonna turn the page anyway. But there you go, nice, nice shading. And you can also see that even with a fine nib, you get a nice deep red. So it's still very legible. Um, it's like not washed out. Uh, do I keep my inks in the boxes? I only keep certain boxes. So um, like for inks that don't stack or line up very like super easily. So these I do keep, even though I hate, I hate having to open this every time I want to ink, but that's okay. It's not that hard. Um, the diamine boxes I, I used to throw out, but then I started keeping them because it's easier to stack those. Um, and my sailor boxes, I used to throw them out and now I regret it because they're, they're like round and they're not really easy to stack, but like the Robert Oster and, um, the, I'm trying to look here, um, the Ro Roger and Klingner. I don't know how to say that properly. Sorry. Um, actually, you know, looking at my inks, I keep most of the boxes is purely for stacking reasons. Not because I really want the boxes. But I'm really one of those people who don't, like I don't like to keep boxes and I don't like to keep my pen boxes. Uh, uh, what's happening? Oh, nothing. It's okay, it's okay. Everybody, don't, no panicking. Okay, it is a beautiful ink, honestly. I think it's, it's just a, an exquisite red. And um, you know, no shimmer, like nothing added to it to make it extra fancy. I think it's perfect. 
Ooh, a Lazy Susan for your ink. That's a great idea. I think I would need many, many Lazy Susans or one mega giant one, which would be amazing. Okay, um, let me try. I'm gonna try writing this M, but I don't know how this is gonna work out because I don't know where it's gonna end up. I'm trying to do the Mont Blanc M, but it, this this dib is not necessarily the right one for it. So, um, uh, uh, this is just no. Okay, okay, Ziza, fail. Just stop. Just, just, just stop. This is a lot harder than it looks. Okay, there was half the O. It's harder than it looks because I have no idea what I'm doing or why I'm doing this. Okay, that. <laughs> <laughs> that was horrid. I'm gonna stop. Um, but uh, you get the idea. I uh, see. I was trying to go for this, like this kind of Mont Blanc look, but um, that O is obviously the worst thing I've ever seen. So we're just gonna leave that um, as is. There, Mont Mont Blanc. Um, let me see. What I'm trying to think of, like some cool word to write here. Corn poppy bread. It's January 9th. Is it someone's birthday? Is anybody's birthday in here? If not, it should be your birthday. Now, um, what what am I doing here? No idea. Like, I don't know what style this is. However, if you are unfamiliar, on Friday, now I'm doing learning letters. So that's pretty fun. Uh, you can come learn how to do ridiculous stuff like this. Oh, your sister has a birthday. Well, happy birthday to your sister and pickled crabs. We will see you next week and then we will wish you happy birthday. If I haven't raved about this pen enough, I'm going to do it just a bit more because how cool is it that it is a six millimeter nib, but you can still write on the edges and like it's totally work. It totally works. It's legible. It's it's not super smooth, but it's not sharp enough that it catches. I can write Brazil. I don't have much space left, but here, let's do it on this page. Uh, I'm going to try to do it. I'm probably going to butcher this, but I'll try not to. It's like a super rounded look, so I'm, I think I'm going for like a foundational here, but... You know, with me, you just never know. Oh, shoot. How do I do a Z in foundational? We're just going to make it up. This is what I do, peeps. You got to make it up. And a nice swoopy L. Oh, okay. Uh, that was fun. That's kind of cool. It looks, you know, sort of consistent. Happy early birthday. Sunday. Ooh, that's soon. Okay, okay, we're gonna, I'm gonna write hello one more time, and I don't know what I'm doing, like, I, I don't even know what this is, what is this, what is it, why, why, somebody take the pen away from me, okay, hello jello, good times, all right, so this was Mont Blanc, Corn Poppy Red. Probably my top red ink, I would say. And then there's like Schaefer Script Red, so that would be next. Anywho's, I hope this was useful. I hope you've been inspired. And if you want to learn how to do random letters, you can tune in on Friday for learning letters. And um, awesome. Everybody have a wonderful day. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye.